What's going on there, folks? All right, I got something hidden here. Something that you can't see. All right, you can't see what's in this bag. All right? But it's from a company that I've been saying since I've been covering their stuff and do a lot of their deals, especially on Amazon. Matter of fact, they just did one last week that was just out of the ballpark. But when it comes to performance and price, that equals value, to me anyway. And I think the skill, what Shervon has done with skill, has brought performance and price to make this probably one of the best value play companies out there in the tool industry. And um, this tool right here, let me tell you, <laughs> it's really one of a kind. Let's, let's talk about it. But... If you're not familiar with Skill, Skill was a very popular company back in the day, you know, with saws and blades and, you know, miters. They were owned by Robert Bosch, right? They had an old 18-volt NICAD platform. They were sold at Lowe's. Again, this is a very old company, so that's obviously, you know, the more recent then, after the NICAD stuff, they might have came out with a lithium-ion platform, but for around five or six years, the Skill brand was gone. Uh, Robert Bosch didn't want to invest. It was just one of their companies that they owned. They didn't want to invest in them anymore. They were just sitting there, you know, maybe had a couple jigsaw blades on Lowe's website for you to buy, but that's about it, guys. So, Shervon made a great buy by purchasing this name and it's all in the name this is what they bought s k i l and that's all they had to do was buy the name and they turned this name into a very large 12 and 20 volt platform in around two years all right so i give shervon a lot of credit for what they've done with this brand and again when it comes to value you know you're just not going to find brushless tools at this price point with the performance and the construction and the durability of, of of some of these tools and again that's why this one is very special now this is their 20 volt uh compressor the skill 20 volt inflator deflator because it also deflates and it has a lot of different uses which is great too they also have a 12 volt all right, so this is the 20 volt. They do have a 12 volt available as well. All right, so you're gonna obviously use their 20 volt battery. And this battery is a little bit bigger, all right, because it has that USB port to charge your phone. So if you have this right here, you're gonna be able to charge your laptop, your, your phone, you know, tablet, all right? And you got a really nice inflator deflator here as well again maybe you're camping right you um, inflate those beds right that are very popular now um, you know maybe the kids bring in a football you got to inflate the football for the kids you got to inflate the beds you know what you drove into the woods you, your tire got a little messed up got to put a plug in it put some air in it you got a lot of functions and I'm going to talk about it more but this is one of a kind because this is a brushless inflator deflator yes this inflator deflator has a brushless motor all right um, a lot of cool features on this um, again this is dual powered or you want to call it a hybrid not only will it work with your 20 volt power core battery but it will also work with your 12 volt um attachment in your car okay or your cigarette lighter but um and i like how they really um have this set up too a lot of these inflator deflators with these extra you know the craftsman is one that has a lot of great features but there's wires everywhere what i like about this is you have a little stored spot right here for the head of your uh, 12 volt charger and it just snaps right in all right out of the way if you don't ever need to use it 
you know, just stick it in there. All right, out of the way. But when you need it, it's there, all right? You have deflating, all right? So like I said, not only is it an inflator, it's a deflator, all right? So real simple. We'll go over all these features a little bit more. But here is your deflator. That's what you gotta do. All right, and I'll show that to you. Then I'll show you something else that I really like. All right, so it's on here. Maybe you gotta deflate the bed now that the kids were sleeping in or you were sleeping in. Real simple, right here. I gotta turn it on first. And you see that nice bright LED screen, all right? But press it. It's just sucking in right now, all right? You can feel it more if I take this off. With one hand, it's gonna be tough. All right, so it's a deflator as well. And I'm sorry, I'm on this um, HD setting, so I can't zoom out. So I do apologize, so sometimes it might get a little messed up. All right. All right, and like I said, um, you know, for those air mattresses, um, you know, those large inflatables, you know, the amount of air being pushed out of here is, is really incredible. Um, maybe I'll show you the, the amount of air flow that comes out of this maybe pushing some grass later in the video but obviously you hook up your tube here right twist it on I'll show you all one handed because that's how easy it is just line up those notches and turn all right and Again, crazy amount of air comes out of this. And I'll show you how that works. Real simple. Just press. Looks like air being blown. Crazy. The amount of air. Again, I'll show you the airflow with this. Maybe moving some uh, grass and stuff. Just how much air comes out of here. Um, and like I said, on this side, you got your LED lights. All right. And, um, you know, you got a ball or a sport, sports ball valve. You got a press the valve and you got a pinch valve. All right. So everything's here. Nice and neat. What can I say, folks? See all this junk right here? All right, you see it? It'll blow sticks. All right, so you got a nice little blower there. Now, obviously, it's not to blow when I'm just showing you here, but I'm just letting you try to see some of the, the force and some of the power. Um, simple this is to actually work on your tire. But what's also great is you got a light. All right. Right there, three LEDs. Or I don't know if that... Wow, that's bright. I mean, that's bright even, like, right now. And here are your attachments, all right? You got a pinch valve. You got your little ball, or your, your football and your soccer ball and stuff like that. Um, just a real, real versatile 
little inflator and again the fact that it's running with these power core batteries you know what's great if is if you do got to charge a phone or a tablet so you know i'm kind of bringing up a different you know obviously most people are going to buy this right to inf put air in their tires right but i do want to say this is a pretty nice or a pretty cool little tool to bring camping only because a lot of people now especially Man, I have a lot of friends that their summer vacation has basically turned into, you know, three nights in a woods at a state park because, you know, you just can't go anywhere. So um, I let somebody borrow this and and they borrowed it to inflate their airbeds. And they said that they use this thing. <laughs> they said they probably wouldn't have survived without this All right now. I don't know if that's true, but... It just made their life a lot easier inflating and deflating uh, their air mattresses um, again um, having the USB on the battery and I gave them two batteries so they had two um, two amp hour batteries with two USBs again they used the light a lot and the kids were kind of playing with the blow um, feature of this and you know making their hair blow back and all that stuff but let's get to the major thing and let's see how fast this 160 psi brushless inflator deflator can fill up air in a tire all right guys real quick i just want to talk um someone just commented on my old video probably three years ago guys about these off-road tires and you might remember the video but I did a video when I first got this, again, these tires, I mean, in 2017. And, you know, you heard me talk about how great off-road tires are. Um, there's some downsides, the biggest being the amount of noise. Um, and they, you know, they'll wear out your bearings a little bit quicker than your normal all-weather uh, tires. But anyway, three years later and 80,000 miles later... We still got some pretty good tread on these. All right, now we just, I just rotated these, I don't know, probably in April. All right, so these were actually in the front for a long time. All right, but we've had them, it'll be three years, I think next week, because I think the video was August 20th of 2017. So, you know, and these were like $100 a piece on Amazon. That's why I got them. So, and these are the hand cooks, all right? And again, if you're looking for off-road, I don't know why I'm bringing this in this video because it makes, uh, these are made in Indonesia, all right? These specific ones, again, these are the Dynapro ATM, all right? And these are the P235 6517 103Ts. They're loud, okay? Probably loud, one of the loudest, but a great tire great 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 uh, we had a storm a, a couple years ago but i don't want to get into that because i want to talk about this skill here all right so we got her all hooked up all right so what we're gonna do is let's check the air pressure first all right now we've tested a lot of these inflators guys right we've tested the harbor freight bauer we've tested the dewalt We've tested the Milwaukee, all right? Now we're testing the skill here, and I can tell you, this one is right up there, guys. I, I, I think it's probably the best. And again, for the price as well, this is $69, okay, for a brushless inflator, all right? Now, again, the Bauer might be $50, right? I can tell you it's not brushless, and I can tell you the tube, and I mean... <laughs> just lifting that one up it's so hollow inside and, and i'm not bashing it because if it for for 40 dollars, i think it was 40 listen if you are a harbor freight fan or a bauer fan it works and we kind of showed that it worked pretty well but i can tell you the construction of it was pretty bad and nowhere near this skill all right so Let's test this out. We got nothing on there. All right, we're going to stick her on. I 
locked her down just like so so it's at 35 psi all right so that's about what these are set at so let's let some air out of these suckers We're gonna go pretty, pretty low here. All right, we're, we're gonna see. I don't want to spend too much time, but you will see the speed compared to some of the other comp com uh, inflators I've tested. All right, now we're at 29. All right, so that's about good. Let's see how fast we can top this off to 35. All right, so right now all we got to do is set our PSI so it's 29.5 all right so now we want a user all right what we're gonna do is set her to 35 all right and actually it jumped up to 30 now that it's been on there but let's see how quick we can go up to 5 PCI. Right. Let's see how fast we can get this to 35 PSI from 30, okay? Remember, these are off-road tires. I'm going to show you the difference in a minute. So it took around a minute and 45 seconds to go up 5 PSI, okay? Now it has auto shut off, that's why I kept it running. But remember, this is an off-road tire. This is a much bigger, wider tire. So 5 PSI in a tire like this, all right, is different than in something like this. All right, so now we'll test this Mitsubishi really quick. And with this one, maybe we'll go down 10 PSI if we could. But let's check her first. And this is always good, guys. You know, I always tell people with these inflators, you know, they're great. You know, sometimes if you have an older car, you know, a lot of these newer cars now have tire pressure uh, readers. But a lot of them don't. You'd be surprised. So it's always great to kind of check and see where your tires are at. This unit or these inflators, they do that for you too. All right. So let's stick her on there. All one-handed, of course. All right, so these are right at 40. Okay? Right at 40. All right, so... Let's bring her down to 30 and see how quick... Now, these are a little bit bigger tire, too. Now, actually, these are 18-inch rims. 18 inch rims, 18 inch tires compared to the 17 uh, off-road tire. So I wanted to give you a little bit of both, an off-road tire and, you know, a normal all-season radial tire. Um, but this is an 18 inch. So, you know, a lot of you guys are rocking 16s and maybe even some 15, but usually the 17 is the most popular or the 16. 
but 18s, you're, you know. All right, so we're at 32. So we dropped eight. That's about good. All right, let's see how fast we can get this 18 inch tire from 32, 32 and a half to 40 PSI. So it took just about two minutes, all right, to go eight PSI on an 18 inch tire, okay? So that's, that, that's, that's pretty quick, guys. Under two minutes, around two minutes um, to go, again, filling your, your tire. I, I pretty much let out a quarter, or actually right on the dot, 20%, right? of the amount of air in this tire and to put it back in in under two minutes all right and again this is an 18 inch tire all right i want you to and the same thing with the off-road here all right so you guys are probably not going to have the smaller the tire the faster it'll fill up all right oh i don't have my ultima anymore but in those past tests i mean it would it be a lot quicker the fact that this is doing an 18 inch um tire in under two minutes right and an off-road tire you know in around a minute 45 seconds it's it's really impressive guys make a long story short um i like it i like the design of it um it has a lot of features it's pretty small it's pretty compact again um you can do a lot of things with this one all right now again the the wall is very similar the, the wall has a light the ryobi is very similar to it has a light um but Besides the Ryobi, I don't know of... I think the Cobalt might deflate as well. But whatever, you know, one, you know, fits your fancy. But I know a lot of people are getting into this skill platform um, recently. Only because of the great deals that they're having on Amazon. If you haven't gotten an inflator yet, all right? I'm not even going to call it an inflator, deflator. Just an inflator. If you're looking for an inflator, this is probably the best one for the money, no doubt. Again, $69 MSRP. So I have saw this, this on sale for $49, all right, on Amazon. I can tell you straight up, if I ever see that again, you'll be getting a video on it. But $69 for this, for a brushless inflator. Keep that in mind. It's the only one that I know of. They don't even advertise this as brushless. And when I was reading on it to get the price, it said brushless motor. So I had to do some serious investigating to find out if it was true. But it does. It is a. But they. 
well, whoever runs that skill marketing, I know who you are. Get brushless on here, man. Believe me, people love brushless. The skill, 20 volt brushless inflator deflator. Now they also offer 12 volt. It looks pretty much identically to the Milwaukee. If you're in their 12 volt platform, I know a lot of you, actually more of you guys are in their 12 volt platform than their 20, but um, they do offer, you know, they, how they grew this platform so big in two years. It's absolutely insane. All right. Great little tool, great little accessory tool from Skill if you're in their platform. The 20 volt brushless inflator deflator. Peace.